there's a lot of things we can avoid. I wish we could avoid that, obviously, to lose our first heifer calf. Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new to us, hit that subscribe button. And if you have already, that's awesome. Thank you guys for joining us. So today's video, guys, this is a uh, heartbreak video for me. Uh, and it's the first time I've ever, I've actually ever gone through this. Um, I know a lot of, okay, thank you. I know a lot of livestock people have gone through this before. Anytime you own animals, any type of animal, it doesn't matter what type of animal it is. It could be a, a dog in your home or a cat or um, any type of domestic animal, you go through these situations. Well, sadly, we've lost our first calf that I've ever lost. The worst part of it, it was the very first heifer that we ever had here on the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch. We have one heifer left right here and then we've got Eleanor's little bull here so first of all let me go ahead and you're probably wondering what in the world is Eleanor doing in here so Eleanor is in here because well if, if, if you don't this rooster is really uh, active dude it is four o'clock in the afternoon if you guys don't know who Eleanor is Eleanor is our sweet innocent nice bison uh cow she's had one calf this is uh this is her little guy right here um but eleanor you're probably looking at her and going man she is short she's what's wrong with her yes i don't know actually when she was a cow when she was a yearling and we went and bought her she was one of the actually best looking ones honestly i don't know because the same ones we bought were the same size as Eleanor. Actually, she was the biggest one in the group. Or anyways, Eleanor is our sweet bison. She will come up to you. She's not coming up to me right now, but you can hand feed her. You can be out in the middle of the pasture and she'll come up to you and basically eat out of your hand. Uh, I've only got two or three that'll actually do that, but Eleanor, she's the most gentle. She works the easiest and uh, she's very cooperative with everything that we do. Well, one of the reasons why she's in here is because um, the big herd over here, the big herd has been pretty rough on her lately because she is one of the, she is different and because she is smaller and she just, she is a different type of bison than the rest of the herd. They treat her differently. And unfortunately part of that hierarchy system and that rank system, she's at the, she's the sweetest, but she's at the very bottom so because she's at the bottom she gets kicked around she gets pushed around some and um it, it sucks because she is a sweet a sweet cow but that is part of the business that we're in so unfortunately we've got eleanor in here right now we're gonna try to get her some weight gain we're gonna try to get her back up um, going she's doing fine there's nothing major wrong with her she's she's fine but we're gonna pin her in, up here with the calves and the reason we have to put her with these two calves is because you can't put these animals by themselves. And you're saying, well, just put her in there with Big Joe and the two ladies. Well, um, I'm not, I'm going to tell you something and it, it may throw you off a little bit, but there's a couple of reasons why I can't put Eleanor with Big Joe and Kit and Flo. Okay, so now that I've told you about Eleanor, let me tell you what happened. So, Kevin, if you guys don't know who Kevin is, Kevin is my stepdad. Kevin helps me take care of the bison. He's had a lot of experience his entire life raising livestock. And he's also had experience raising bison as well. Been around bison, handled bison before, and a lot of exotic animals. Well, Kevin came home one day. He pulled up and he saw one of the calves stuck in between a gate and our continuous fence panels. And she had one foot, she had three feet on the ground and one kind of above some chain. Let me show you kind of where she was. I, I'm not, I didn't film anything of her um, after she was dead, but um, let me just kind of show you how she was whenever she was found. Okay, so we've got 
we've got these animals here in this smaller lot here's one of the reasons uh they're in this smaller lot because we're these calves are being weaned we, we had three calves in 2020 we had two heifers and we had a little bull eleanor's little bull and we put them in here and we one reason that we put them in this area is because this is tough this is my new continuous fence panel pin it's raised up high and it's it's tough and it's very durable so what we did is we put the calves in here to keep them uh safe because when they're when they're calves they want to get out and they want to they you know they pant they they want to get close back to mom and so there is a little separation anxiety what we did was is we had to put them in here because they do try to get out and this stuff is really tough okay so before this panel was here you can kind of see a gap between the gate and the actual continuous fence so and this is ideally this needs to be a lot closer and i didn't do a very great job of it i mean there's about six inches between this gate here and the continuous fence obviously you want it closer and that's my fault i didn't do a very good job of setting the post closer so this 10 foot gate would be closer to here so when kevin came home uh her head was stuck in between there now remember this wasn't here guys there was just one chain chain to the gate right here this is next to big joe and the ladies her head was in between here and i think he said she had one foot up in there and three on the ground and here's what i think is what happened i um, mean i've talked to him about it and uh, i know stuff like this just happens anytime you raise livestock i know stuff like this happens and and there's a lot of things that you can avoid and there's a lot of things that you just can't just crazy stuff happens and i know there's probably lots of stories that you guys have if you've raised livestock about you know, losing animals or animals getting hurt and then you have to put them down but in this situation it it's pretty gruesome and pretty rough um, and this this tells you about these animals and their capability and just their social life just what kind of animals they really are and how different they are than most livestock um, that people raise she got her head in here she could have been grazing on some of this green grass at the edge of your fence just like most animals would do she got her head in here and in between here raised up you know something may have spooked her or what but she when she, her neck because she's just a calf got in between here and got her head stuck in there and then started to panic and once they start to panic they make a lot of commotion just like any animal would made a lot of commotion i'm sure may have started making noises uh, because of struggling and wanting to get out and nothing was here to get her out and so when she got in there and and those signs start happening nature takes over unfortunately this is where i i, I called and i asked about this when kevin saw her he looked at joe and it looked at kit one of the other cows over here you got big joe and kit and they had blood um, big joe had blood all over his head and kit the cow had blood all over her head it tells you one thing and then he told me the heifer that was stuck here the heifer calf she had blood on her head and she looked like she'd been beat pretty bad so I called Doc Parsons because he's the guy I always talk to about these sort of incidents and he's been around bison a long time and that's the first person I called. I told him the situation, I explained it to him and he basically told me that once the animal is hurt or is starting to panic in a panic situation, the adults will actually take them out. And what I mean by that is we'll, we'll kill them and basically kind of put them out of their misery. Uh, it's probably a hard way of saying it but that's that's just what it is i think that's what happened heifer got stuck and joe and kit after the heifer calf was freaking out and panicking i think joe and kit finished her off and she couldn't do anything about it because her head was trapped in this gap here and uh, i think they just kind of put her out of her misery it's, uh, it's very descriptive and that's very hard for me to accept it was hard for me to listen to doc talk about it that's just the truth unfortunately how these animals are and uh, it's a bit scary 
but there's something about these animals that's uh, very unique and different and this is part of the business that we're in and i still love and care about these animals and this is just unfortunately this part of it there's a lot of things we can avoid i wish we could avoid that obviously to lose our first heifer calf we have to accept it and we have to move on so i know a lot of you are probably wondering what in the world why would they do that there's no way guys go go watch yellow some yellowstone footage of how they treat um the lower system their their lower hierarchy animals um go on there and watch you can see some there's some good documentaries out there and there's some good footage of the social life of these animals and what how they treat each other and i know there's a video out there i've seen where they actually looked like a yearling was injured by a wolf actually kept it, kicked it out of the herd and that um that a uh, yearling was actually killed by a wolf after they kicked it out of their herd and back to the wolves after it ran away it's very interesting behavior it's unfortunate behavior but that's how these animals are and it's just a learning curve for us and i know we're going to lose animals every now and then i've already been down that road i've lost one because uh in a trailer hauling them back and forth i uh, lost a yearling two years ago uh, she was gored right here in the towards her lungs right behind her shoulder blade she was killed uh, taking them to the vet so crazy stuff happens that was hard but this one's really hard because it's one of our calves you know it's sad because it is a calf and it was our very first heifer to ever have on the cross timbers bison farm I know that's uh, not exactly what you want to hear when you kind of watch Cross Timbers Bison. Uh, you know, we, there's a lot of good things that happen, guys, and I'll try to catch all that for you. Unfortunately, there's bad things that can happen too, and that's probably the worst thing that could happen. One is the animal, all the animals get out, which that's happened before, and luckily they were all safe and we brought them all back in. Thank you to Dunbar, letting the whole herd out. So if there's anything worse than your whole herd getting out, this has got to be the worst thing, is actually losing an animal has got to be the worst. We'll learn from trying to avoid those situations. Sometimes you can't um, avoid them. Thank Kevin for his help and, and for um, and thank you for looking out. The good news is, I'm going to leave you with your positive because as a coach and as a teacher, I always want to try to leave with a positive. Always. So here's my positive. We could have up to six calves this spring, or early summer. We could have up to six, I believe. I think we have, and I haven't had a preg check, and just by looking at them, looking at some signs that I've learned over the, over the little while, in that group, hopefully we'll have some heifer calves. And uh, this was Bell Star's baby. Bell Star is my feisty cow. Bell Star is one of the first five from my original herd, and I'm pretty sure that this was her calf, unfortunately. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to leave you with that positive note that we should have six calves this year, and I'm excited for Kit and Flo, the new cows with Joe, to have their calves as well. They'll probably be the, actually the first two. Um, according to the original owner, they would have them in May, and that will be our um april may actually that will be our first two hopefully so thank you guys for watching i want to say i hope you enjoyed the video today and it's not the news that you want to hear it's not the news i want to bring to you it's unfortunate and we'll move on from it and uh, we'll just try to do a better job in the future and try to prevent those things and try to uh, take care of these animals as good as we can thank you guys for watching us you guys take a look online this is one of my new hats that you guys can purchase. I've got a couple more out there. I've got a black one and a navy one. So if you guys are interested, you can go online and start purchasing these hats now. They are on sale on the crosstimberspison.com website. You can check it all out right there. Here is some of the last footage that I have of the calf.